Is this uh, opening up just an opportunity for China? I mean, there's been a lot of commentary to that effect, that China is going to, that the United States is creating a vacuum, uh, that China is going to step in. Uh, I saw that the foreign minister of Chile recently said the U.S. had, in fact, created a vacuum and that China would be stepping in. Senator Corker, what are you, is that, are you concerned about that or are you uh, nonchalant about it? Uh, no, not nonchalant. I, I think that China um, has for years and is stepping it up even more, had a strategic vision that is long and is investing resources, creating alliances, creating relationships, sometimes not to the benefit of the countries they're doing it with because of the way they finance it and the way they build it. But uh, there's no question that they are very aggressive. We uh, we are lacking in that regard, and, and we hope over the next couple of weeks to be taking some steps to, to help counter some of the um, – and I'm really talking about more the – the development side of things, um, but no, I think uh, I think from the standpoint of a country having a vision, implementing that vision, putting resources, big resources behind it, um, there's no question that uh, and, and TPP couldn't agree more. Um, both candidates, by the way, in the race, uh, one who actually had been kind of involved in it and creating it. Uh, on the other side of the aisle, uh, were those speaking to uh, the issues that you're talking about between the coasts and that Mark and I see all the time in our own states. And uh, and so, you know, it just wasn't politically palatable from their perspective, although I'm not sure about that, okay? I'm not sure. But it has left us in a weakened position as it relates to um, again, if you if you think about the economic alliances and how much what that means from a national security standpoint, it's really hurt us on two fronts. Um, and you, we have to remember that these countries have a domestic uh, audience. Also, they went out on a limb, agreed to an agreement with the United States of America, and then now uh, we're not a part of it. So it's it's been very damaging. And yes, um, I don't think this is the first year. I don't think the administration is yet. Um, fully thought how they're going to try to counter that. I do want to say as it relates to the Western Hemisphere, it's my understanding that the White House uh, is going to spend tremendous amounts of time and effort in this next year uh, in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, hopefully that will be welcomed, but uh, and I think that it will, but I think there's going to be a tremendous emphasis on that.